Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a very unique, different style of floor plan that's an awesome couple's travel trailer. This is a 2022 Cruiser RV MPG Ultralight Model 2780RE for rear entertainment. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the MPG, another unit guys that we are so happy that 007 RV or RV outlet is now a part of our team because we're getting to see all these unique style of units. But before I begin, let's say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good. Again, have we ever had an MPG? No. Uh, okay, I didn't think so. So guys, you know, this has been a great trip. We're bringing you so much new stuff or stuff that we haven't been able to for a long time. Now Will, so. how do you feel about the name MPG? Um, it's kind of weird. Like, I think it's stupid. It's a hot topic in this day and age. Right. <laughs> like when I'm towing a travel trailer, I don't want to you don't be even reminded want it. Yeah. about how many miles per gallon I'm getting. Yeah. Well, let's begin. Watch well, this be like somebody's initials and like, I feel bad, yeah. but I don't want to be, dude, I'm towing a truck. I'm getting six miles a gallon. Right. right. I, I don't want to be reminded. Yeah. Model is 2780 RE. The actual tip tip length of this trailer is 31 feet 11 inches the dry weight is 6482 pounds and the hitch weight is 672 pounds well this is an awesome travel trailer yeah. i can't wait till you guys see the actual inside okay we do have a power tongue jack here propane goes here and your batteries go here this is a nice middle of the road travel trailer so you do got a painted molded fiberglass front cap looks great and you do have the diamond plate rock guard there. Cool. Coming on down the side here. Oh, they see, use the Asdell? They do use Asdell and they use the one key alike system. Very nice. That means you have a master key and nobody else. Oh man, look at that. Do you know what that does? I do. So all your stuff in the middle, you can pull yep. it on out if you need to. Very awesome. nice. Um, And as Will said, slam latch doors. They do use Asdell. Guys, Asdell is a green based material. So what that means, we well, we've had a lot of people lately asking, what is Asdell? So the fiberglass normally is stuck together with a material called Luon, which is a woody glue material. Yeah. And whenever moisture gets there, the wood expands and then it separates. Right. Uh, Asdell, that will never happen. So yep. if there is a little leak, you should be okay. Yep. Now, I, I believe if the leak's big enough, I mean, there's nothing you can do, but. Well, it won't delaminate. Right, but, but it will still damage water your, yeah. everywhere, yeah. And then right here, Will, uh, it does have the electric stabilizing jacks. Cool. Coming on down the side here, we do have a power awning. You do got speakers on the outside there. Well, coax and power if you do want to have a TV on the outside. Okay. And then right over here, we have a grab handle to get inside. And then you do have your step above steps right there. Cool. Three year structural warranty on this. And this does have the climate defense package, which means it does have a heated and closed underbelly. And then look at these tires, Will. They're trailer kings. I love those. ST225-75 R15 with your standard suspension there. Very nice. Yep, this mentions the lipper power stabilizing jacks. Yep. Um, non frameless windows. Right. And again, kind of basic looking on the outside, but the inside does look really, really good, America. Okay. Coming right here, we do have a place for you to leash up your dogs, which is nice. Coming around the back, no ladder to get up on the roof. You do have a nice spare tire, spare tire carrier. Nice bumper for the rear, and it is prepped for a Furion backup camera there. Okay. And then finishing up, Will. Finishing up on the driver's side. Okay, so they put nothing on the slide out, which nice. is great. Potable water here. Potable, potable. City water connection. Little spray sport right there. 50 amp service wheel. Okay. So uh, I, I would only bet there's one AC in it, but it's probably prepped for two. Yes. Six gallon DSI water heater right there. Right there, that's where you're dumping your tanks. Your black tank flush to help clean your black tank. Mm -hmm. Satellite and cable right there. All good stuff that I'm seeing. 
And then here's that other side of that awesome storage. Cool. Well, well, cool is not the right <laughs> word today because it is not cool. It, it is not. It hot. is starting to heat up here. But the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside of this unit looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Guys, this episode is sponsored by Lippert. This unit, we said, does have the power stabilizing jacks. If you do not have power stabilizing jacks on your travel trailer, we will link Lippert's website down below. You can always add them. That's right. So if you're not as lucky as the MPG owner, make sure you uh, go check out our sponsor, Lippert. Cool. Well, we couldn't do this show without Lippert. That's right. I mean, we could. Mm-hmm. But it wouldn't be as good. That's right. Well, when was the last time you seen a trailer like this? It's been a while. This been is really while. nice. Yes, sir. It's very spacious. It is, okay? yeah. Um, you got your theater seats right here. Oh my gosh. What? They did it. What'd they do? Oh my gosh, they did it. I've been talking about it. MPG just became one of my favorites. Okay. I've been talking about this. I've talked to I've talked to Integra. I've talked to East to West. I talked to Thor. I said, hey guys, make a unit with two sofas and no dinettes. Yep. Look what they did. They you don't need a dinette. I know. That's pretty cool. Review's over. Just buy this unit. <laughs> no. I love this. You don't need a dang old dinette. I'm too fat for a dinette. What right. the heck? What are, you what are you talking about? And, and look at how roomy it is in here. And of course, like, again, that's not for everybody, but like, right. nobody is doing it either. Because it is for some. Well, I freaking walked through this unit and I didn't notice it. Right. In the Theater seats right here, cup holders here and here, remote holder there. Okay. Okay. It does have this little thing. Yep. If so you if want you the dinette. Little, yeah. And then over here, well, this sofa here, one, it's stylish. It is. Is two, it comfortable? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, two, like, this is where, dude, even if it wasn't comfortable, I would lie right now and say yeah. it's comfortable. <laughs> only because, like, they didn't give you a dinette. And, uh, and you set up a little table here. I do not know about those balances. Yeah. Eh. You know, you can't win everything. All right. Um, but again, this is just so awesome. And this looks like... Trifold? No. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. It is a trifold that comes all the way... Oh, God dang it. Well, I want to be lazy. <laughs> and then why don't you show what's going on right over okay. here? Okay. Right over here, you got a good size TV by Summit. Furion sound system. I love the windows. It really brightens it up in here. Windows on both sides. A uh, little countertop space here. Couple cabinets. A little bit of storage. Good spot for um, DV player or PlayStation, whatever. Greystone fireplace. More storage and everything. Well, this is what it looks like when it's all the way out. Cool. Okay. <sighs> you know what, America? Sometimes, dude smash that thumbs up button that's right we get hot we get lazy we get tired well this is video number 16 15 yeah so smash that thumbs up button because you know why because i don't want to make no more beds anymore <laughs> but you you guys who are watching who are encouraging that's right. who are supporting us we do it for you we don't do it for rvr we don't do it for general or lazy days or RVIA, we don't do it for Cruiser, we don't do it for Thor, we don't do it for nobody, except you guys. That's right. America. <laughs> we don't do it for them damn Brits, neither. We do it for America. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm half British, my dad's from England, I'm allowed to say that. Right. Well, I'm getting delirious. Okay. Continue, please. All right, over here, really, really good sized kitchen. Nice little shelves right here. Plenty of storage up top on both sides of this little high point microwave here yes sir oh there it is yep got a gray stone uh range hood right there hood range windows on both sides good counter space on both sides as well three burner fury on cooktop right there very nice With the blue lights and oven all right over here you got a couple drawers yeah here a little bit of storage in here And then coming over here, 
Nice cabinet space there. Oh yeah. Small backsplash, standard faucet, but big single bowl sink with a plastic insert. Furion air conditioner. Yes, Furion AC. Little sponge holder right there. Yep. More storage here. Yes, sir. And then across the way over here is the Ever Chill refrigerator. Yes. This is a compressor fridge, so it cools really nice and quick. Oh, put that battery in there. Thanks, GoPro. <laughs> and then you got some uh, nice little pantry space here, and we missed something over here. Uh oh, what did we miss? A bit of storage there as well. Dang. All right, well, time to hop on in that shower. Okay. I feel like I was just in a shower. <gasps> did I shower this? Oh, yes, I did. I was about to say, I don't remember, but I do remember. Mmm. They were close on this, but this is going to fail. It's not bad. Like, if you're a little bit smaller than me, you're going to be comfortable. If you're a little bit bigger, you're really not going to be comfortable. So does that pass shower test? No, it doesn't warm, pass, warm, so, warm, unfortunately. Warm. But it's decent size. It, it is what it is. Well, we don't make them. We just review them. That's right. Right here. Got some storage there. Some storage here. Okay. Uh -oh. I know, I already see some, uh -oh. some more reviewing we're gonna have to do. Dang nab it, we need to extend our sale will. Yep. This right here, a little bit of this. Nice little sink. Do you guys follow us on TikTok yet? Follow us on TikTok. <laughs> Guess what the channel name is called on TikTok? After reviews. <laughs> I got that handle. Nobody took it yet. Well, this is a great position. Yeah. Give me porcelain or give me death. This is not a prime poop. Yeah, just fails. Yeah. It's actually a good position too. That's what's sad. It's doable for the poopable, but you need a porcelain toilet. Luckily, this has a lot of other things and you can swap that out for porcelain. Dang right. You can't swap out a dinette for another sofa. So... so. Will and I lied to America. This actually does have the second wow. AC already in it, which is really nice. This has a king size bed, and it's saying something like you're able to slide it one way or another. That's cool. All right. We do got some storage there. Okay. Let me climb up here. Little bit of storage. Little bit of storage. Right there and over here. But yeah, not good nightstands on both sides and everything. And then you got a little bit of action going on there. You do, just a mirror, little countertop space, and some storage here. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. You got a nice little uh, window. Window there, second AC unit, and overall just a pretty great bathroom. Yeah. Bedroom. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this unit, three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we. Ooh. Yes. Like? No. Dislike. That's what I was yes. going to say, but then you said yes. Well, because I knew that's what you were oh, going to okay. say. <laughs> Dislike number one, Will's outside. Dislike number one, Will. This power awning's practically useless. Yeah, I agree. I mean, with this slide out here, you have no awning space. They should have put it more towards the front, honestly. Yep, yep. or they, they should have done a little one there, yep. another one on the slide Exactly. Out. It just, like, you can't use any of the awning space. Like, literally, this is how much awning space yeah. you have. That's dislike number one. Cool. Dislike number two. Number two, Will, do you have a number two? Um, I mean, the only thing I really saw was that toilet. Talk to him then. Yeah, I mean, it's a porcelain toilet. Honestly, they it's hit a plastic the nail, toilet. or that's what I mean. They put, hit the nail on the head with so much of this, and that's just like a small little thing. Yep. Like, in, and, in and retail, a porcelain toilet probably would have been $100 more. For them, it's probably like 50 And not only that, it's not like they were trying to maintain a certain weight right, either. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, they gave you the second AC unit. Yep. They couldn't give you a porcelain toilet. That doesn't make sense. That's number two. And then, well, number three, here's what I will say. The fact that this, you're turning your head sideways. Oh, good this point. this sofa, you're turning yep. your head sideways. We've never liked that. We don't condone of that type of behavior here. And uh, it's always nice to look head on at the TV. Well, well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this. Number one, number one, two, and three. Number mm -hmm. one, Will, no dinette. Yeah. You don't need a dinette. Guys, I've been preaching dinettes. I, I think I had a video back in 2019 saying my recommendation. Like, because I wanted to be on record. Like, you don't need a dang old dinette. Right. The fact that you got a little table there, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. You're eating outside. You're going out to restaurants. That's right. You're not eating inside. Get rid of the dinettes, guys. This is awesome. 
I wasn't sure how I felt about MPG. Once I saw that they did this, I'm like, I love it. Yep. That is like number one. Will, like number two? Definitely this kitchen. And again, I think it comes back to the fact that there's no dinette. This is a really, really good sized kitchen for the size trailer. Uh, plenty of cabinet space and really tons of counter space too. And then Will. Mm-hmm. I mean, number three is no dinette. I mean, yeah. I can't tell you how, how, um, Dude, I really don't have a number three. Um, I really can't think of a number three. Do you? Um, Electric stabilized, you know. King bed, I'll, king, I'll definitely say that. That's right. Well, king bed is freaking awesome. Yeah. I'm glad they gave you a king size bed. You don't get that in a ton of travel trailers. So for them to do that here is freaking nice. Yep. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Let's see how much this unit is. MSRP on this unit here is $59,519. MSRP. Sale price, RV Outlet USA has it $43,950, but they actually have a sale price of $39,950. Well, that is a phenomenal price. That is. Even the 43.9 is a phenomenal price. It is. But guys, that's on this unit here. And it is a sale. So by the time you're watching this, this sale might have gone away. Even the 43 might be gone. Right. So it really does depend. And listen, don't go to the sales manager six months from now. And say, well, Matt said that's right. on this unit here. If you're not looking at this unit here, you're not getting that price there. That's right. Um, but Will, we are a part of RV Retailer. If you guys are interested in buying this unit or any unit, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the tab that you're ready to buy. One, sign up for the newsletter. Right. Fill out the tab that you're ready to buy. We're going to hook you up with RV Outlet USA or another one of our partners. No matter what, no matter how much the price is, we're always going to get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. That's right. Will, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching this truthfully shocked me how great it is yep um mpg is just kind of one of those where you've always known about it but never really stuck out to you but now i i see um how great they are so make sure to leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about it make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much for you. watching and will we'll see you next time